So the X-Tool D1 is my favorite diode laser, and they just came out with this rotary attachment, which makes it even better. I want to let you know that this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is your all-in-one spot to build your brand as well as grow your business online. From buying your domain to templates, even selling products, Squarespace really has everything that you're going to need. Hey, what is up? Welcome back to the shop. My name is Brandon and I get to review a lot of these laser diode machines. And if you haven't seen the review for the X-Tool D1, you can check it out right up there. And actually X-Tool already had a rotary, but they just updated it to the second version. So that is the RA2 and that's where the two comes from. Now what's cool about this is this actually has four different setups for a rotary. Now their old version was basically just a roller rotary and all that really is is these rollers and you put your material right on the top and that's how you can turn your cup or your material and you can get your engraving. And this guy still does that. Now these will pop in right in there. Now the rollers are great if you're working with a delicate material and you don't want to clamp it. Now the roller is the first configuration and the other three configurations involve using this chuck and that is what this is right here on the end. And then you have several different attachments that you actually insert into the chuck that allow you to grip onto different things. So they advertise doing circle ornaments and then you're able to drop on this tailstock, clamp it down and everything is held tight into space. I didn't have anything circular on hand but you can see I did have an egg and so I was able to clamp down an egg and engrave my logo on it which is ridiculous but it still works. And then the third setup for this allows you to do rings. So you can take this all the way to the inside. You can drop a ring around it and then you can expand it until it holds it tight. Now with diode machines, you're not gonna be able to engrave directly onto metal, but if you have any type of coating like a stainless steel or if it's powder coated or some type of top coat, you're gonna be able to laser engrave rings. And then the last setup is probably gonna be the most popular and it's gonna be the one that I use the most. And that's just putting these simple jaws onto the chuck. And then depending on what you're trying to laser engrave, you have a couple different sizes that allow you to step it down. Now, the great thing about the chuck is it actually clamps it to the rotary versus using the rollers. I have found that it is pretty easy to have those to slip, especially if you're using a big heavy mug like a Yeti. Using the chuck and being able to clamp the end to this, it's gonna work way better. And then in addition to this guy, which they're gonna use for doing spheres or anything round on the ends. The other kind of tailstock that they have is this. And all this is, is a little roller that you're able to adjust the height. So this is great to not only support cups or whatever that are basically the same shape the whole way through, but since you can actually adjust this up and down, you're able to put on materials that are not uniform the full way through. And so with this Yeti, you're able to support it on both ends, even though they have different diameters. And you can see how it's set up and how it's engraving right now. So X-Tool has been great to work with and they actually are doing a giveaway where we are giving away an entire X-Tool D1, the 10 watt version, as well as two of the rotaries. So we'll actually have three winners. Now you can enter to win at the link in the description. And there are a few ways where you can actually get bonus entries once you go through that link. Now at the time of this recording, I actually don't know when the giveaway is ending, but all those details will be down in the description once you click it. So if you want to get one of these machines, give it away, or you want to get one of these rotaries, make sure and check that out. Let's talk about the setup process real quick. This is really easy to put together. It's not gonna take you long at all. And then they just have this cable coming off the stepper motor and that's gonna plug into your motherboard, uh, which is like right underneath the front side of your D1. And then on the software side of things, this is gonna work with MakeBlock software as well as Lightburn. And that's a big addition they've made since my original review. And really that was my biggest drawback. So being able to use Lightburn, not only just for your kind of standard laser engraving, but also using Lightburn to control your rotary works great. And that's how I've been doing all of my tests and all of these examples. Now, there are a couple things that are different for rotaries versus just doing your standard engraving in terms of how you have everything set up. One of the big things is you're gonna have to measure the circumference or the diameter of whatever you're putting on the rotary. And they just give you this like fabric ruler, both uh, millimeters and inches, so you can measure that pretty easy. But then also when you have this chucked up, you wanna make sure you have it level. So you can just drop your level on top. And then especially if you're using this guy, you're able to raise it up and down. So you make sure that you have everything level so that when it spins around, the focus point that you have stays the same regardless of where it is in terms of your material. Okay, so let's talk about the pros of this rotary. First of all, the big pro is just that it exists. And so this is something that some other companies may not have. So you have to get some type of third party rotary. So it's nice this is coming directly from 
X tool. What's also nice is this is the second version. And that's because this is an upgrade over just the standard roller rotary. I've really never had the best success with the rollers. They do work really well with the glass and this is actually grippy. So it is gonna hold it pretty well. But once you step up to bigger Yeti tumblers, it gets a little bit harder to be able to manage so that you actually get an engrave that's not going to slip going around the entire mug. So having this chuck attachment is probably the biggest pro I have with this machine. And they've done a really good job of giving you multiple ways to actually hold your material. And in fact, they actually have 3D printable files where there's different versions of these claws that you could even print out at home if you don't have exactly what you need, and then you can just screw them right in. Now, another nice thing is not only does this work with the X-Tool D1, but it also works with the M1, and that is their upcoming enclosed laser diode, as well as cutters, like a vinyl cutter, like a Cricut, and you're gonna be able to use the rotary with that machine or with the standard X-Tool D1. And then going along with the ability to actually clamp onto whatever you are trying to engrave, mugs with handles are actually really hard to do with those rollers, just because the weight isn't even. So the mug will be spinning around and it'll be really easy to slip once the handle gets to a certain size. So being able to clamp it into place, that's not going to be an issue. And one thing with those mugs with handles, you can imagine if we put one on right now, it probably would hit this base. This entire chuck section can actually flip around so that you can engrave on this side to give you more area underneath. But when you do that, you're probably going to have to raise this up. And that is probably... So a lot of you probably are looking at a rotary to do some type of engraving on cups or mugs, especially Yeti mugs. That's probably what I hear the most. And if you're wanting to sell those, I really do encourage you guys to check out our sponsor, Squarespace. Now I've used Squarespace way before they have sponsored any of these videos. That's actually how I set up my very first business, selling kids books online. It's also how I set up my blog and website over at the Make or Break Shop. It was great because I was able to purchase the domain directly through them. I was able to use some great templates, and then I was able to even sell digital products plans and digital products directly through them. So if you're wanting to put logos onto Yetis and sell them, this could be a really great option that is easy, but it's also professional. You can head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, you can save 10% on your first purchase of a website or domain. Just make sure and use my link squarespace.com forward slash make or break shop. In general, how you have to kind of work around this setup is probably my biggest con. So when I was doing the Yeti tumbler, I actually had to raise this entire machine up and I had to put support blocks on the four corners just so that I had enough room for the actual laser to go on top of it. Now this is actually sitting on a couple of three, two, one blocks, but if we put it all the way down, and I moved over the laser, you can see this does not have enough room when you're using the chuck. So you're going to have to raise the machine up. Now X-Tool does have extension legs, which work great for that. In my case, I just used four of these small part spins. And this is just one of those sorters that you can get. This is actually from Harbor Freight. I think it was like $10, so it was really cheap. Now another con is just the stepper motor isn't super big uh, and it doesn't really lock into place. So it really is pretty easy to nudge this just accidentally when you're playing around with getting everything set up. And I think the stepper motor is the same or maybe a little bit smaller than the ones you have on the machine. And if you've worked with any of these before, you know these are pretty easy to move. So you just have to be extra careful when you're working with the rotary that you don't bump it and you don't get it out of alignment when you're doing your engraving. And really the last con has to do with focusing. So if you've seen any of my reviews, you know that this lever, you're able to use that to be able to gauge the distance to your material. And that works great when you're working with a flat surface, but as you can see when it's round, you actually have to jog the laser forward or back so that this is going to line up and then move it back into space. That's just an extra step and you have to be careful to know how far you jog it so that you get it back to where it was before. It's definitely not a deal breaker, but it's just something you'll need to keep in mind as you're using the rotary. Now, because you guys have hung around to the end, I do have a little secret for you guys. And it has nothing to do with the rotary, but it's actually this guy right here. This isn't the 10 watt version of this module. This is actually the 20 watt version. And that's the one you've been seeing throughout this video. Now this is a pre-production unit, so I'm not going to do an official review, but you do know I had to test it out. So this is my cutting test file for the 10 watt version. And we vary it in speed as well as power. And this is the 20 watt version. Now I've got these lined up so the 20 watt is actually behind the 10 watt. You can see how much more power you're gonna be able to get from this unit. Now we'll do a full out review and test of that in a future video, but just know that is coming soon. And that really just brings me back to my overall point whenever I talk to people about laser diodes and why I recommend 
X tool. They definitely are on the higher end in terms of price, but they're constantly upgrading and adding on to this unit. They started out with just a five watt module, then a 10 watt module. They had the first rotary, then the second rotary. They added light burn support, and now they're coming out with a 20 watt, and who knows what's gonna be in the future. So if you guys are interested in any of these products, we've got links down below. And if you buy them through my link, you help support the channel. So we obviously have been talking a lot about the X tool D1 in this video. Here is the full review if you haven't been able to check it out. And here is an update video where we talk about the air assist as well as the light burn functionality of the machine. Until next time, go make or break something in your shop. See you guys.